I get to wear it. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. It's been such a long time they took this away from me so quickly. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful beyond, beyond, beyond. So gorgeous. I love it. And the symbolism symbolism yeah. of it is so important. Mm -hmm. um, it, it was just like the minute she slipped it on again, it was like, oh my God, it's like, this yeah. is that joyful yeah. happiness that I, yeah. that I want to feel, that I want everyone to see. I walked out of that limo, like not knowing or not expecting anything. Just, you know, just there's a great adventure and maybe there would be love, but really just Getting out of that limo, I stood next to him and I went, oh my God, I'm so attracted to this man. I said, well, I'm in trouble. I'm in real trouble. I said, this. I said, well, I, start, I got better butterflies immediately. And so I couldn't wait to sit down with him. And, you know, we sat down and then we had that cupcake interaction and <clears throat> that was great. And then, you know, our date was absolutely over the moon spectacular. And I was, and we really did. That night, I think we had really great conversations. Yeah, we did. In the car. Yeah, yeah, we did. We talked a lot. And so we formed a really great bond that night. But I also knew, you know, now I have to step back and let him go explore it with other women. And that's how I felt that, yes, Gary should go and see who this really should be. She got my attention when I had the physical reaction to her putting her hand on my shoulder when we were in the Corvette and you know the headlights were failing and so forth and I was really nervous and she put her hand on my shoulder and I could physically feel the tension drain out of me and it's like okay now I know that I need to really pay close attention to mm. this person wow. and as I went through it you know I worked really hard at compartmentalizing with each of the women giving them my uninvited attention but I would keep going back mm. and and thinking of her <laughs> My family fell in love with Gary, like absolutely <laughs> loved him. So, you know, they it couldn't have been better. Like they, they were just so excited about him. And so when I, oh my gosh, when I came home and my, my daughter's really the only one, you know, who really knows what happened. And she's, and I was in the airport and she's going, and I gave a really cryptic message, like I'm home and it was like dead. It was like nothing. And she's going, well, 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 and I said, I can't really say anything like right now. I get into the Uber, or what was it? And I just wrote back, yes. She goes, yes, yes, yes. She goes, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Like they, and then when I pulled up in their driveway, it was like, it was like a welcoming committee, like screaming and screaming and so happy. Yeah, because my daughter loves Gary, yeah. as does everybody, yeah. The, her family was um, incredibly welcoming. Um, I looked at Jen. And it was like, this could be my own daughter. Yeah. I literally wa ha was having those thoughts yeah. because she was so kind and she was so sensitive to the situation, to her mom and to me. Um, and, and I mean, I think back and it's like the hilarious moments I had with the grand boys. Uh, they were, they were mm -hmm. just, you know, <laughs> Henry, Dempsey and Leo <laughs> being them. Uh, it was funny. So um, the whole dynamic just worked. Part of our conversation that we've talked about and shared is in the fantasy suites. The first time really that I seriously told her that I loved her. Mm -hmm. It was like, it was like a, a almost a, an announcement of excitement. Mm -hmm. I said it three times mm -hmm. in a row. Yeah. And I said, Teresa, I love you, I love you, yeah. I love yes. you. And, and I go, and I'm going to ask you to marry mm -hmm. me. I don't know if you're gonna say yes, yeah. but I'm going to ask yeah. you. So for me, when I got to the final episode and the engagement was about to happen, I was very confident that she was my person, 100% confident. And I was also that confident that she was going to say yes to me. <laughs> there was a moment, mm. it, it, this was really pretty magical. You know, like I said, my, my daughters and granddaughters were at the engagement. And because of the way the sun was and the walk mm -hmm. that Teresa had to do, she was a silhouette for an awfully long time. And my daughters tell me, please let it be Teresa, please mm, let it be Teresa, wow. please let it be Teresa. And when the light hit enough so that they could see that it was her, they were ecstatic. Mm -hmm. You know, they were in tears, they were thrilled. Mm. And so um, 
I'm very happy mm. that that's their reaction yeah. because I do rely on them a lot yeah. to reinforce decisions that I've tentatively made. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah. they don't, they have right. influence, but the main thing is they reinforce. Yeah, it's amazing, yeah. yeah. And we're so. very close, we talk all the yeah. time. Yeah, so, the, yeah. The, the, mm. Our daughters, are yes. they're, they're like sisters now. Yes, yeah. Um, Yes, my daughter says thank you for giving me two more sisters. Yeah, well, she has a sister-in-law already, but now two more sisters, yeah. We are going forward with a wedding in January. It's so exciting. Well, first of all, how incredible is it that I met the man of my dreams? <laughs> and now, like, to be presented, like, it wasn't our original timeline, but to be presented with the wedding of our dreams, I mean, Spectacular, incredible, like, yes. wow. And, like, and so, yeah, let's do it. I look at it this way. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're in your 20s and you put something off for a year, it's a very small percentage of your life. Mm -hmm. In your 70s, if you put something off for a year, it could be 10%. Of yeah, that's, that's right. So the clock ticks faster. Yeah. And I'm 100% certain I found the right girl for me. And I am. And yeah. she is. So it's like, why not? Right. We'll, f we'll right. sort everything else out. We'll yeah. figure it out. Um, when I talk to her and she's yeah. talking about whether it's a dress or she's talking about a cake or flowers or, or whatever it is, and it's like it makes me so happy that she's having this much of a good time with it. Yeah. It's like what could be more fun? Yeah, and he, and he had said as long as you're okay with the timeline because I know my first marriage wedding was just t put together in three days, mostly by my mom. We had a, a gown, a veil, a cake, a photographer, music, really in the basement of my house. And and he was just, you know, he was concerned that, you know, this wasn't a long enough time frame. And as long as I was good, he was good. So, yeah. So, and, so yeah. for this wedding, mm -hmm. since she'd sort of gotten uh, the hurry up job the first time, mm -hmm. I wanted her to be able to savor all of the anticipation and the joy and the planning and everything. So that was my only question is, are you okay with the timeline? Yeah. Um, do you feel like you get cheated a little bit mm. in it? And it doesn't sound like no, she's getting cheated out of not, anything Not at all. cheated, no, it's so, incredible. Yeah. One of the things that I think fate played a hand in mm -hmm. is <clears throat> the possibility of where we might wind up mm. living. We've talked to quite a bit and we're planning on moving to Charleston. So looking forward to doing some shopping in that area. Yeah. We've had conversations and, and mm -hmm. we've narrowed it down to a, a time window. Mm -hmm. um, but, but that's always in flux. You know, we, you know, we have two homes to sell. We have other events that we're going to have to deal with and so forth. But um, fortunately, Teresa is the more patient, I think, of the mm -hmm. two of us. Mm -hmm. And I think she'll help us along, keep good pace me i'm just like come on let's yeah. go it's time yeah. to go have fun yeah you know <laughs> life's a wasting let's go so um, yeah. but soon yeah We're soon the nice thing that i yeah. think about is mm. when we finally are able to buy a house together that she is thrilled about doing the furnishing and the decorating and it's like great that was never a conversation with my wife and i yeah. the first time around we were like really worried about do we have enough money to buy dinner tomorrow night groceries for dinner so i think everything is different yeah. the excitement I, level is different i absolutely i agree and like really now like we both have the same attitude about life that life is to be enjoyed and let's have fun I mean, there are serious moments, but we laugh so much together on the phone. Like, and he'll go, I love it when you get so excited about this and I get carried away about something. And he's going, all right, just keep going. That's great. Like, yeah, so we have a lot of fun that you're, you know, haven't seen before. We, and, it's, and it's better and better, really, every time we talk. It just gets better and better. And we, so we both know we made the right decision. It was the right choice.